Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace. Brought to you by the New Palace Lanes here on Daniel Street in Fitchburg, Massachusetts. I'm your host, Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Matala. And on this edition of the King of the Palace, Billy Palumbo tries to three-peat as he goes against Brian Pileski, the number four seed. Steve, let's hope that we have some great bowling and Billy Palumbo can continue as king. Okay, Billy Palumbo up on alley three. The defending champ. This is a rematch from the last King of the Palace. First ball delivery, bangs into the head pin, lays an ugly five pin leave for a spare leave. And he's smiling, saying maybe this is a night of frustration again. Now he's just chopped out the four. He's left four pins for a ten box. Yep. He just made a remarkable, remarkable ten buck. We've taken out all three on the right side after making contact just with the two on the left. I'm pretty sure it's going to take a, you know, a couple for Billy to start warming up and start throwing the balls that we used to see him. Well, he's missed the head pin again, wide left. He's left the one three six. Oh! And he punched out the head pin. Drilled the head pin straight on, lifted it right off the pin deck and straight back into the pit, leaving two pins on the right, the, the three and the six, and he just gets the six for a nine box. Yeah, tough start. Well, he really thought he'd get better on with those two first ball deliveries, but he did not deliver. Okay, here we go, Brian Pileski up on alley three, seeing if he can do some damage in his first box. He wants to get that head pin to get the momentum going. Yeah, he wants to start it up. Weak ball to the left, drilled into the two. He's left four, four on the right, two on the left for an ugly spare leave. No wood. Oh, chops out the three and the nine. He's left four pins up for a, a ten box. Ugly, ugly. The one six four seven. Ooh. And he drops it to the left. Well, I'm pretty sure both bowlers are feeling a little, yeah. you know, pre-game jitters and post-game jitters. And the lights are on. He found the head pin. Yes, he has dropped nine. Maybe the spare strike. No, a spare leave. He's left the three. He did. This is um, a pretty pick up, makeable shot. And he picks it up for the spare. Yeah, drilled into the drilled into the dead wood. Took down the three. First mark of the day for Brian Pileski. Okay, Billy Plumbo up on alley three. Box number three. You know, I sat down with Billy, you know, and all the bowlers, and we were talking, and one of the things I asked Billy is, you know, since he's the reigning king, is he, has he had any fame out of it? And, you know, he says, yeah, some of my buddies have recognized me and, you know, razzed me about it. So it was, you know, he's had a pretty good experience from it. That's all we're about, you know, enjoying yourself, having a good time, and, you know, great bowling, and, a lot of competition. Well, he made the one five eight nine spear on alley three to open up for the spear. He's filled it with the six. He's left the one two six ten with wood. Oh, yes, David, it wow. did. The back piece with wood appeared to ricochet somehow off the left side curtain, came over, made contact with the six, and went into the ten. That's not supposed to happen. That, there was no way that was supposed to happen. I definitely did not think that that would work that way. Okay, here's Brian Pileski up on alley three. Found the head pin. Oh, and he went through the middle. He's ripped out only five pins. He's left three on the left, two on the right, and he's got to be disappointed with this leave. Well, let's see if he can't pick this one up. And he drops it to the left. Yeah, he's left the... Uh, He's left the two, the six, and the ten, some wood. He's gonna play the two and the right for the ten box. Excuse me, the nine box, hopefully. Hope for the ten. He got the nine box, okay. Okay, he's going back up to alley four. There was a piece of dead wood in the channel, in the gutter, and uh, that, by rule, that has to be removed. Yeah, you know, while we're taking this short little break, I just wanna say I wanted to thank the Sentinel Enterprise. They uh, called up, you know, they wanted to run a little article about us and what we're doing and what we're trying to do so it was um it was very flattering and very good and most appreciative 
Uh, hats off to the editor, Chow San Amon, very nice gentleman, who fulfilled the little community help with us with our bowling tournament, Dave. Yeah, you know, it just goes to show that there are a lot of different media outlets out there, and, you know, you call them up and you tell them what you're doing, and they tell you, you know what, no, we're not interested, and you just keep plugging away, and you find that one that, you know, says, hey, you know what, I think you're doing a good thing, and we'll help you out. Well, we'll always be indebted to the editor, Charles, and uh, very, very nice gentleman. Okay, Billy just, if, excuse me, Brian just had an unfortunate six box there in the six fill. Both these guys are struggling just a little bit. They're going to try to find the head pin. And he did, he got the head pin. I think he was more. a little full on that one. Oh, he's left a tough leave here. Three, six, ten, and the seven with a piece of wood between the three and the six. Tough shot. That ball came back and actually took out the seven off the back curtain. Leaving just the three pin for the ten box. Let's see if he gets the pin. Oh, he missed it. Wide left. Brian's the only one that had a spare so far. You know, it looks like these guys are waiting to see who's going to throw the big now, marks. David, on that last shot, we saw the back curtain here flip-flopping in the back of the bowling alleys. It's there for the purpose, though. Keep the pins inside the alleys. Yes, that's correct. Just to let the people out in the Canopy world know that. Okay, he's thrown his first ball wide right. He's left the one, two, five, nine. He's got to drill the head pin. Oh, wide right. Yeah, he knew it. Billy's having a hard time locating that ball that he wants. Yeah, he really... He really needed that head pin for the spare shot. And leaves the five pin. Now we got a disappointing nine box. Okay, here, Brian Pulaski up on alley four. Excuse me, alley three. Brian lives in Lunenburg. He's originally from Fitchburg. Bowls in uh, the Thursday night men's league up at the Palace. Did we mention that he's a lefty, the southpaw? I think we did. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's evident. Okay. <laughs> Okay, he's left the four horsemen left. He's going to try to drill the in between the one and the two like the most bowlers do instead of playing the dom. Oh, yes, Picks yes, he nice. did. He knew it, David. He knew it. As soon as the ball got into the head pin, into the pocket, there's the replay. What a beautiful shot. Nice. Nice ball. That was a nice. Now he really wants to throw the hammer. And he's up on alley four looking for his fill. He wants an eight, nine, or a ten here. Oh, he got it. Uh, too That's bad. frustrating. Only a three fill. Well, if he comes back with the strike ball, he'll get a spare, hopefully. Well, let's see what he can do. Uh, wide left. And he's left an ugly four pin setup for a 10 box to one, three, five, eight. Wood won't be any of help. After six. Billy Palumbo, 69, to Brian Pileski, 67. This is a tight match. Billy's got a two-pin lead. First ball delivery, and he's wide left again, but he's left the one and the nine. He's got some favorable wood. He's got to go into the head pin and hopefully make some type of contact with one of those pieces of wood to take out the nine. Well, let's see if we can do this. Nice pickup. He finally gets on the board with a spare. What a beautiful spear shot. There it is. Now he wants to unload the hammer and put the pressure on Brian. There's the concentration. There's the look in the eye. He's ready to throw the ball. Got wow, David. this is ugly. David, he hit the head pin into the three. He gets a four fill on a beautiful pocket hit. <laughs> Even he can't believe it. How does this happen? How does this happen? Oh, he's a little disappointed. Wide left only took out one out of six. Very disappointing. Let's see if he can't pick up the three for a respectable eight box after that disaster area down there. Oh, what a disappointing seven. Dr drills the head pin for the fill on the spare and only dropped three. I'm, uh, I'm my goodness. Okay, Brian's up on alley three. Going to try to find that head pin. Brian's favorite shot is actually the 179, better known as the high-low jack. Oh, excuse me, 1710. His least favorite shot is everybody's the dreaded spread eagle. He's left the 127. Very makeable spear, very favorable wood. He's got to drill the head pin into the two or split them, and it should carry. He missed his object. Wow. David, he missed the object completely, and somehow a piece of wood 
Had was his up. friend, ricocheted off the left side wall, had and a, came back and got the head pin. That pin had enough momentum to take out the, take out the one pin. That was... Uh, uh, he knows it. He, he was knows. surprised. He wants to fill with an 8, 9, and 10. Wide left, leaves the 137 with some wood. I don't think it's going to be a help. He's got to show us a shot to make a spear, David. Oh, it's, a, it's, it's difficult, Dave. It is a very difficult shot. Oh. And he missed it to the left. Just missed. I think he was looking to try to hit that head pin on the left-hand side to push the ball into the seven yeah. and the head pin to take out the three. It finishes off with a nine box. Right now, Brian Pileski has a three-pin lead. Billy Palumbo's 90 to Brian Pileski's 93. This is a lot tighter than the first match. Okay, box nine. Here's Billy firing head pick. Oh nice, my goodness! Beautiful shot. David was Dave. Was that a hammer? Or was that a hammer? I think somebody put some TNT underneath those alley, oh, underneath those pins because they just were obliterated. Explosion! Explosion plus on that one. Oh my goodness! So now wow! That dreaded half was the left. Took out the two and the eight. Unbelievably, <laughs> this is Billy's least favorite shot. Now he wants to go and get at least a seven or an eight. He's, wow. Uh, he get the, he fills the strike with a six fill, but he's left a one, seven, nine, ten for a ten box. No help on the deck. This is all Billy. And he leaves the high-low jack. He, he follows a beautiful strike ball with an unfortunate half whist to hit with a six fill and a seven box. But that's candle pin bowling, Dave. That's candle pin bowling. All right, Brian Pileski up on alley three, box number nine. Let's see what he can do. Well, he dropped it wide right. He oh, knew it. He knew it. It just unfortunately drifted right. Well, he's got to come back with a strike ball. He's got to find the head pin to get the spear. Ooh. And he found, he thought he got a little bit better than yeah, what he's got left. No, let's see if he can't go after the four seven for an eight box, a nine box. And yeah. he picks up the 4-7, leaves the 6 for a respectable 9 box after that. Well, he's into his final box of the first string. He'd love, really like to get a spare strike and a good fill on it to get some momentum for string number 2. And see what happens. Get the head pin, he found it, and another ugly, ugly lead. Well, he's got How does bit, that happen? He's got a little bit of wood down there. I don't know if this is going to be a help or a hinder, but we'll the find five, out soon six, enough. 5, 6, 7, 10. My goodness. Yeah, that was tough. Tough thing. He cleaned out the right side. He's left the 5 and the 7. He's going to hopefully drill into the 5 and maybe get the 7. It's going to be difficult. Left the 7 pin. Left the 7 for 9 marks. Okay. At the end of one... After ending one string, Billy Palumbo 113 to Brian Pileski's 111. Right now, Brian Pileski has a two-pin lead. The reason why Brian Pileski has a two-pin lead is Billy Palumbo started this King of the Palace tournament with a 104 average. Tournament rules actually state that after 12 strings, you actually end up with a tournament average, and Billy's tournament average is a 126. So now, instead of getting pins, he's actually giving them back to Brian. Quite a difference, David, from going from a 104 to a 126. Well, you know what? The way Billy's been bowling, you can see why he is a 126. You know, some people say this is a fast house, you know, and, and I think it's honest and it's fair. You know, you have your time, but you have to hit your pins. You know, so the way Billy throws that ball so hard, it's unbelievable that the action that he generates off those pins. Okay, Brian Pileski up on alley two, just had his first box, got a 10 box. See if he can back with the head pin hit. He found the head pin, and he leaves a ugly, ugly four pin split lead. And he has no help either. Oh my goodness, what is going on here with Well, let's first? see if he can take out the left side, then take out the six pin. Nope. Nope. Dave, he had four pins up, he hit his object, he drills into the two pin, and only the two pin falls. Just a little full on the two pin. Drove it straight back. Oh, I know. He's yeah, he's frustrated. Yeah, but how can he hit the head pin pocket hit and get a seven box? Right. I've been there. You've been there. We've all been there. But it's candle pin bowling, and you got to keep after it. you got to get the head pin. Okay. You have to hit as many pins as you can. Just keep pinning. And, well, Billy wide left again. 
and he's left this one. We've seen this a number of times. Yeah, this is no stranger to Billy. The one three seven. He can either play it from the left side of the head pin on the right side, and he missed to the yeah, left. He decided to go left, and there was nothing there. Now well, he's going to play for the two, maybe get the three. Get you know, when I was sitting down with Billy, you know, we were talking and, and joking around, and I asked him, you know, what is actually your best pickup line? And I quote from Billy, the best pickup line is, don't you know who I am? I'm on TV, baby. So then I, I started laughing and I asked him, has it worked? He says, so far, just once. So hopefully um, Billy's one time encounter with his fame and this, whoever it is, is still going strong. He just nailed the head pin, left an ugly, ugly six pin spear leave. But you know, getting back to what you said though, David, going down the street with the King of the Palace hat on, it's gotta make you feel pretty good. Yeah, it does. You know, he's been walking tall. And he filled that with, a, he, got, he did some good pinning, got the 10 box. Yeah, right now, Brian Pulaski has still has the lead by seven with a 138 to Brian, Billy Palumbo's 131. He's up on alley three, box three. Okay, he's just wiped out the right side. He's left six on the left. And I'm pretty sure Brian's not really uh, comfortable with having a seven pin lead over Billy. Oh, nice spare shot, David. Nice pickup. Nice pickup. He threw the strike ball, which turned out to be a spare ball. Nice shot. He had to get that head pin park, and he did now. He really wants the big fill here to get some momentum going. Yeah, he's, he's on alley four. He's trying to create some distance from the king. He got the head pin. Oh. He's left the five, six, ten. He turned around, a little bit frustrated, a little bit disgusted with his fill. He's looking back, maybe because of that piece of wood, Dave, maybe out of play. No, it's in play. There is a line in front of the head pin, Dave, 22 inches in front. If it's any part of that line, it's out of play. He nice got it. He got up. the spear. Went he right ricocheted the piece of dead wood to the left, took out the five, and another piece of dead wood took out the six and the ten. Back to back spares. He Not needed that momentum. Now Billy's up on alley three. Ooh. Wow, and Billy punches out. He's a little bit disappointed. Back to back, back boxes. Once again, two, oh. a seven pin spear leap. He's got to get the head pin. Nope, it's wide left. Wow. And he's left the 110 for the, for the 10 box. I think Billy's starting to feel the pressure a little bit. I think he's behind that head pin well, right about now, Brian the way Plusky. Brian's been starting the bowl. Brian came back with back to back spears with nice shots. Yep, Billy's up on alley four. You know, I just want to actually thank for every participant that has done the King of the Palace. You know, it's, it's not about doing something um, out of the ordinary. It's to do something to revitalize the sport. Yeah, bring it back. Bring back Candlepin Bowling. And no better way. Oh, he just missed the single pin spear. And anybody that does Candlepin Bowling will tell you that it's their favorite sport. Bring him back the king of the pounds. Great, great idea in Candlepin Bowling. Okay, the unfortunate miss of the single pin spare. He did pin it. He picked it up for 10 bucks. Probably the most frustrating thing in candle pin bowling, Dave, missing a single pin for spare. Absolutely. Yeah, it's very frustrating and disappointing. Brian is working on a 15 pin lead on Billy. And the ball. And the field ball. He's got the head pin. Wow. He's left the two pinner. He's left the 5 9 for a spare. Dave attacked the five pin. Split them or just go after the five and slide it. Let's split them. Oh! That's what he wanted to do, and you've seen the frustration in Brian's face that he wanted to split it and create more distance. Just missed. Just missed. Now he nailed the five pin there head on for the 10 box. All right, hopefully he throws the same ball, gets another respectable spare lead. Brian knows that just pinning isn't going to protect his lead. Got to get the spears and you got to get the strikes. He's going to have to make a little bit of noise. You got to get the spears when they're there, David. And he's wide left. And he's left the one, three, six. Oh. He throws it wide right. Wide right. Leaves the head pin all alone. Unfortunately, just missed. Well, 
Pick it up for the 10. And he picks it up. That's where he wanted to throw his spare ball. He knows that. Yeah. Everybody always says, you know, if you miss it with the third, the second, you always pick it up with the third, and you're like, really? Why did I do it on the third and not the second ball? Okay, Billy's up. Oh, he's wide right back. At David, look at this. Back action, and he just leaves the head pin. He hit the six pin into the ten, and with his rocket ball, they just started flying. Yes, I'd smile too, Billy. He's just left the head pin for spare. And, and he, he picks it up. He just drilled it. He's big smile on his face. He got the gift of the candle pin bowling world. He knows it. Now hopefully he cashes in on it with yeah. a big fill. That's the that's the beauty of his ball. Throwing that ball so hard gets so much action off. Now of he finds the one and the three on the pocket hit, and he leaves four pins for a spare. Oh. I know. How does that happen? And he picks up for the spare. Billy's starting to find his groove, but hopefully it's oh, not, it's a, Dave, not a little too late. He just rolled that spare ball into that two pin and just wiped them all out. After six, Billy Palumbo 63 to Brian's 82. And Brian's got a pretty decent lead on him. Okay, Brian up on alley three. Box number seven. Nice ball, head pin, head pin. Little full on the head pin. Oh, and he's left an ugly three, six, seven, Favorable wood. Favorable wood. Yep, that wood's coming back. Waiting for the wood to settle down to see what it's going to do. It's not going anywhere, Brian. He's got to drill the three. Hopefully slide the wood over. Nope. He knew it. Too wide left. Unfortunate. Hit the, head, hit, hit the dead wood a little too full. Yeah, he had to attack the three. Yeah, let's see if he can slide it over this time. Oh, well, he took off the seven pin with that dead wood. So we got a nine box. He's up on the alley four now. Hopefully he throws the first type of ball he just threw. Gets a better favorable lead. Well, he's zeroing in on that pocket. Yeah, he's trying to create a little bit more distance. Got the pocket. He got it. He got it. He's left the 10, maybe. Nope, he's got three pieces of wood. He's got the 10 pin up for a spare. Only by itself. Once again, call the corner of the building shot. And, and he picks it up. No doubt about it. No he, doubt about it. He would have had that strike if that deadwood didn't come around and lock in that 10 pin. It appeared that two pieces of deadwood, instead of hitting the 10, hit one another, kept the 10 pin erect. Okay, here's Billy Palumbo. <laughs> he has left beautiful pocket hit once again. He has left the 4, 6, 10 with some wood, maybe, for, uh, maybe favorable. Only a candle pin bowling. <laughs> oh, why? Wow. Well, Very well, frustrating. Yeah. He's probably going to probably try to play the single pin again into the deadwood to take out the two in the right. No, he went for the two in the right for the nine box. Played it safe. Okay. I think Billy knows that um, his king of the palace days may be coming to an end if he doesn't step up to the plate and start throwing some big bombs. Wow. Wide, wide right. Went into the six into the ten. He's left the one three eight with some wood. Unbelievable He's, action on his ball. He's got to show us a shot. Yes, and he picks yes, it up. Nice. Yes, he did make the spear. What a beautiful shot. Yeah, that was a nice. Brian holding on to a ten pin lead. Billy's not going to go quietly. Okay. Brian Pulaski up, just missed the head pin, faded left, left the four horseman right with the eight pin up. No help with that piece of deadwood, that's for sure. No, just missed. Well, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, he st that's an unorthodox way of making the four horsemen, but they oh. did fall down, and he's left the eight pin for a 10 box. Oh, he missed the wide left, okay, going back Finishing up on alley ten, on alley four. Tenth box. Let's see what happens. Gotta get the head pin. You gotta get the head pin. No. No. Wide right. Spun him around. Left the four horsemen left with the three pin as a friend. Makeable spare. Drills the head pin. They should carry. He's got wood. This wood. Wood might hurt him too. Oh, he missed his object. And mm -hmm. leaves the seven pin. Yeah. 
it rolled a little bit faster, made a little more contact, it might have went down, dude, but just didn't quite make it there. Takes I mean, it up for the 10. Well, let's see what Billy can do, because if Billy doesn't make some noise, Billy's reign as king is just about done. The crown will be removed. And then Billy would have to start all over okay. again from the ground up. Oh, there it is. There it is. What is it, David? The it's, dreaded spread eagle. You've been waiting to say that all game. How does that happen? The one, five, eight, nine. Wow. I do Tough not understand. Tough luck for Billy. Well, he took out the three on the right. Now he'll play the three on the left. He's shaking his head. I, I know. He's, he knows he, it. He knows it. He knows he needed to start making some noise, and it might be a little bit too late for our reigning king. king. He really needed to strike, man. But that's scandal pin bowling. Okay, he's up on LE floor, 10th box. To close it out. To close it out, let's see what happens. I think he needs a double strike here to Once again, make up he, some pins. He found the head pin, a nice Seven, pocket. 10 hit. split. This wood is not gonna help him out at all. Will he do the spray and pray? Yes, but he tried to spray and pray, but not enough. It just and I think that it. just kind of sealed his fate. Yeah. We're gonna have a new king of the palace. He just destroyed that ten pin. He's looking back at it. Brian finally got redemption from the last time these yep. two met. So we're at the end of the first two. With Brian Pileski defeating defending champion Billy Palumbo. Yep. Billy Palumbo, 112, to Brian Pileski's 125. Carried that 11-pin lead almost pretty much through the whole match. Billy could just not get anything started. On the recap, Dave, we see... Uh, Billy Palumbo, one strike and six spares. Brian Pileski with six spares and no strikes. Very and unusual to only have one strike and 20 boxes of bowling, but... And there's something that you don't see every day. Billy Palumbo, seven and one. David, we just witnessed... Brian Pileski ending the reign of the two-time champion of the King of the Palace, Billy Palumbo. Absolutely, Steve. Brian Pileski finally got revenge on Billy Palumbo for the last devastating defeat that actually crowned Billy the two-time champ. Brian Pileski defeated Billy Palumbo by the score of 236 to 225. Now there's going to be a vacant throne. Now, in the coming weeks, we're going to fill that throne with a new king. Definitely a new king out there to be crowned. We'll see what happens, David.